day and you're very, very welcome as we journey through this week. As we thank God for his love, a love that never fails. The Bible adds to our understanding of these words. Translating them as love never ends. The next sentence contrasts love with other spiritual gifts. But where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. Prophecies, tongues and knowledge are all temporary. Not so with love. Because love is a basic attribute of God. We find it in the first letter of St. John, chapter 4, verse 8. And because God's love is eternal, love will also be eternal. Love will never fail. Scripture reveals God's eternal love for us, a love that never fails. God chose us. We look at chapter 17, verse 24 of St. John's Gospel, or again in Ephesians, chapter 1, verses 4 to 5. God died for us, Romans 5, 8. And will never leave us in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. In fact, nothing at all can separate us from God's eternal love. And we read in Romans 8, Verses 38 and 39. I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels or demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all of creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Jesus Christ our Lord. The Greek word translated fails in the New International Version of the Scriptures. It is related to the verb meaning to fall. And by saying love never fails, the Bible means that God's type of love will not fall or falter. God's love is constant and forever. As God says to us in chapter 31 verse 3, of the prophet Jeremiah. I have loved you with an everlasting love. Again, just allow those words to resonate in your heart, to resonate in your lives, to resonate in your homes. I have loved you 
with an everlasting love. With confidence in that great love that the Father has for us, we turn to him in prayer as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Mary, Mother of God and our Mother, mother us and care for us, and bring us the love of your Son. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 